In this figure, we have a square with each side equal to one unit, and we have to find the area of the green region that is formed by the intersection of two quarter circles. So this one is the first quarter circle, and this one is the second one. To solve this problem, we will use three different methods, and let's start with the first one. We will start by finding the area of the square. For this, we will multiply 1 times 1, and we will get 1. In the next step, we will find the area of a quarter circle. The formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared, then the area of a quarter circle is 1 fourth times pi r squared. In this formula, r represents the radius, and we are finding 1 fourth of the area of a circle. Now, from the figure, we see that the radius of this quarter circle is 1, and if we replace it in the formula, we will get 1 fourth multiplied by pi times 1 squared, which makes pi over 4. Now, if we subtract the area of this quarter circle from the area of the square, then we will get the area of this yellow part. So again, the area of one yellow region equals the area of the square minus the area of a quarter circle. This equals 1 minus pi over 4. In this figure, we have two yellow regions, and each one has the area of 1 minus pi over 4. And now, to find the area of this green region, we will take the area of the square, and we will subtract the areas of these two yellow regions. So, the area of the green region equals the area of the square minus twice the area of one yellow region. Then we will get 1 minus 2 times 1 minus pi over 4. Now, we will distribute negative 2, then we will have 1 minus 2 times 1 is 2, and then negative 2 times negative pi over 4 is plus pi over 2. Then we will bring down pi over 2, and then 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So here we have the area of the green region, and that is pi over 2 minus 1. Now let's see the second method. With this method, we will split this green area into two equal parts. Then to find the area of one of these parts, for example, this one, we will find the area of a quarter circle, and we will subtract the area of this triangle. To find the area of the quarter circle, in this formula, we will replace the radius with 1, then we will have 1 over 4 times pi times 1 squared, which makes pi over 4. Next, we will find the area of this triangle. For this, we will use the formula for the area of a triangle 1 half times base times height, and in this triangle, the base is 1 and the height is 1. Then, 1 half times 1 and times 1 equals 1 half. Now, the area of a half of this green region equals the area of a quarter circle minus the area of the triangle. That will be equal to pi over 4 minus 1 half. So this is the area of half of the green region. And now to find the area of the entire green region, we need to double this quantity. That will be 2 times pi over 4 minus 1 half. And now if we distribute 2, we will get pi over 2, and then 2 times negative 1 half is minus 1. So here we found the area of the green region, and that is pi over 2 minus 1. And now let's see method 3. In this figure, two quarter circles overlap, forming this green region. Also, these two quarter circles together form half a circle. Then, if we find the area of this half circle, and we subtract the area of the square, then we will get the area of this green region. 
To find the area of the half of a circle, we will use the formula 1 half times pi times radius squared, where the radius is 1. Then, if we replace, we will get 1 half times pi times 1 squared, which equals pi over 2. Next, we will find the area of the square, that is 1 times 1, which equals 1. And now, to find the area of the green region, we will subtract 1 from pi over 2. So, the area of the green region will be pi over 2 minus 1. So, as you see, these two quarter circles together form a square plus the overlapped region. Then, if we subtract the area of the square, we will get the area of this green region. And this area is pi over 2 minus 1. So, here we have all three methods. And please let me know in the comments what method you liked the most. And thank you for watching.